In this video, I'm going to show you how to calculate and interpret asset turnover. So asset turnover is a ratio, and we use it to tell how good a company is at generating sales revenue given the amount of assets that the company has. So we calculate the asset turnover ratio by taking the company's net sales revenue and dividing it by the company's average total assets. You would get the average total assets from the prior two years of balance sheets. Okay, so let me show you an example with a couple of firms and I'll show you how to calculate the asset turnover ratio and then how to interpret it. So let's say that the two companies we have, uh, we'll do it where one of them has a much higher profit margin and yet they both have the same ROA. It's not, not always gonna be that way in real life. I'm just giving you this as an example to kind of show why the asset turnover ratio is important. So let's say we've got Moby's Groceries, they had 100,000 in net income, and then Luxury Clothing for Cats, they had 100,000 in net income, and but uh, Moby's had 5 million in sales, Luxury Clothing for Cat had 1 million in sales, and then we've got the average total assets that I've calculated, uh, 2 million for each company, okay? so. The ROA for each of these companies, the return on assets, would be 5%. And again, the ROA is just the net income divided by average total assets. So for each company, it's 100,000 divided by 2 million, which gives you 0 0.05, but you multiply it by 100 and add a percent symbol to convert from a decimal to a percentage. Okay, so they each have the same ROA. So then we look at the profit margin. We can look at the profit margin, which is the net income divided by net sales. And we did that in another video, so I won't go through it here too much. But we take for Moby's Groceries, 100,000 divided by 5 million. So it's 2%. It's a pretty low ratio there for the net profit margin. It's basically saying every dollar in net sales for Moby's Groceries, 2%, which would be 2 cents, 2 pennies, is going to ultimately end up in profit. Now, for the luxury clothing for cats, it's different. A profit margin is five times higher than it was for the grocery store. So luxury clothing for cats has 10% profit margin. So every dollar in sales, 10 cents becomes profit. Okay, so much higher profit margin for the luxury clothing for cats company. And so you might be wondering, well, how do they have the same return on assets? What is going on here? If this one company has much higher profit margin, what is responsible for this? Well, what we have is we have very different asset turnovers. We have very different asset uh, turnovers, okay? So basically to get the asset turnover, we take the company's net sales and then we divide it by the average total assets. So for Moby's Groceries, that would be the 5 million divided by 2 million. So that gives you an asset turnover of 2.5, okay? Now for the other company, for Luxury Clothing for Cats, we have 1 million but we're dividing it by 2 million, the average total assets, and it gives you 0 0.5 for asset turnover. So that's how you calculate the asset turnover ratio. Now let's get to the interpretation. What does this mean? It means this. Both companies in this example have the same amount of average total assets. They both have $2 million in average total assets. Yet, Moby's Groceries has 5 million in sales, where luxury clothing for cats only has a million in sales. So. Moby's Groceries, if we just think about average total assets and net sales, is much better at generating sales given the assets it has than luxury clothing for cats. In this example, they both have the exact same assets, yet Moby's Groceries have 5 million in sales and luxury clothing for cats have 1 million. Why does that matter? Well, think about it. If Moby's Groceries has very low profit margin, they're not making much profit every time they have a dollar in sales, but they have a lot more sales, right? So you think about, and this is kind of the nature of the industry. If you think about a grocery store, there's a lot more people coming in and buying groceries in any given hour than there are people buying luxury clothing for cats, okay? So, okay, luxury clothing for cats might be a much smaller market, so they have to have a higher markup of their prices. They're, with luxury clothing for cats, or if you think of luxury cars or uh, private planes or anything like that, you think of they make a lot more profit every time they make a sale, every time there's a sales transaction, but you're going to sell a lot more groceries than you are luxury clothing for cats. Okay, Because a lot more people want groceries than there are people who want to buy high-end clothing for their cat. And so... They, 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 in this case, have the same ROA, and it's basically a situation of, of that basically Moby's Groceries isn't making much profit every time they make a sale, but they're making a lot more sales. 
Okay, so they have a lot more volume, they're selling more, so it doesn't quite matter that they're not making as much profit as the, the cat clothing company every time they make a sale, because they're making a lot more so. They're a lot better at generating sales, given the assets they have, than the luxury clothing for cats company.